What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome to today's second video. Now, you guys know that we had the ability to pre-order Advanced Warfare and with that came a bunch of retailers offering a pre-order bonus. Now that bonus was a camo on Ghost as well as Black Ops 2, so that's what we're going to be talking about and showcasing today. Personally, I haven't seen many people with it yet and I certainly haven't seen many people showing it off on YouTube and videos just yet as well. I'm sure that will come in due time, probably very shortly, but the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background is showing off the camo a little bit. Now, as for gameplays featuring the camo those will be up on my channel a little bit later I'm gonna be playing with it here on all my guns for a little bit so the next couple gameplays I will get will most likely have it featured on the guns I know I have one ready to go but it was too long to really do anything with I was considering using it in today's first video but the length of the video wouldn't do the gameplay justice but regardless in ghost we got a background patch reticle and camo and being totally honest I like the clean designs and I like the brushed over material but this camo seems a little bit minimalistic don't get me wrong I like it a lot but there could have been more in to the design. Now, with that being said, though, there is a net design branded on it, almost like a desert camo with a techie web. If the netting were more visible, I'm pretty sure I'd find the camo more appealing. But what I've noticed so far is the larger the gun, closer to the area where the clip is, the better off you'll be at having a chance to actually see the camo in its entirety. You'll notice that in the background, the M27 that I was using probably showcased the camo best itself because it does have such a thick body to the gun, and the actual area for the design to be showcased is much larger than the others. The Honey Badge the L115 and the Remington didn't really do much justice but the MTAR and the M27 both did a pretty good job at showcasing it because the stocks were so thick and so roomy for the design to actually be shown off. So moving on the background and the patch are both quite very cool. I actually might like those more than the camo itself. Both the patch and background do a great job at showing off the Spartan type theme that Advanced Warfare is showcasing with these personalization packs. Now let's change gears and go over to Black Ops 2. Now for Black Ops 2 we didn't get as much, but we did in some sort get just as much as Ghost. Now we got a camo, three reticles, and a calling card. The three reticles is where I see it making up for Ghosts and what we lacked, but the camo on Black Ops 2 has much more detail in my opinion. Maybe I'm crazy, but it just looks more detailed, and I enjoyed this one thoroughly, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to keep it up on my guns for when I play Black Ops 2 public matches. I still go back to Black Ops 2 quite often. I find it more enjoyable than Ghosts at a lot of points in time, so I do enjoy this. I like this camo, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping it on my guns. Now, the reticles are pretty cool. The EOTech is the same as Ghosts. Then the Red Dot and the ACOG are different. All three look great, though. The EOTech has the Red Dot in the middle of the Spartan, so it's not that bad. The Red Dot, you have to aim it up so the middle of the triangle is the center. That itself isn't too bad, but it can be a little bit of a pain. And then the ACOG is actually pretty good. It's a precise crosshair in orange. The calling card is the same as Ghosts as well, so it's pretty cool to see it transferred on both Ghosts and Black Ops, too, for both types of players, the people that loved Ghosts and the people that hated it. But all in all, it's a pretty good camo on both games. I enjoy the exclusives and I hope you guys too. Now, one of the purposes of this video was to allow you guys to see if you wanted to pre-order it and get it and hopefully seeing it in action has helped you out a little bit. Personally, if you want to wait for everything else like a poster and all that from GameStop or your regional retailer, I don't see any rush to pre-order it now just for the camo and then have to make another trip out there later. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or are you impartial on this one? All comments are welcome. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or my specific OG like that, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.